And if you was the one, put your feelings aside, we can keep this low. Feeling your vibe on the regular. God sent me a sign from the stars above. Had to decide if you was the one, put your feelings aside, we can keep this low. Feeling your vibe on the What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sass, and I'm back with another one straight facts. If you haven't already, make sure you drop those comments down below. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when a girl posts. And last but not least, make sure you like this video up. Like this one, the last one, the last one, and the last one before that. <laughs> Do those steps for your girl. Anyways, um, y'all, y'all gotta leave in the comments. Put in the comments. Please put in the comments what videos y'all think I should do next. What pranks, challenges, vlogs, anything y'all want to see in my life. Put it in the comments down below. Or, you know what? I have been being active on Instagram. And y'all have been, you know, hitting me up on things to do or whatever. Got some content ready for y'all. So, stay tuned for that. Which brings me to this video that I'm doing right now. As you guys can tell by the title, y'all already know what I'm doing. Um, I am doing a story time. Just a little quick little something something for y'all to upload because you know your girl been missing y'all or whatever and i'm telling y'all y'all my life is like busy it is busy but um i'm about to share this little story time with y'all so it is basically the story time when i got in a fight on the bus um i'm sure like in high school before y'all done had a fight on the bus don't mind these little black spots it's my eczema like it's clearing up like it was these spots right here this all of this right here these marks right here on my eye it was everywhere and this they slowly clearing, clearing up i just gotta you know what you call them but um yeah so basically i was cool with this girl and like i told y'all previously we had like clicks Oh, this man with this bag is blowing it but we had clicks at this was eighth grade yep i don't know why i thought it was high school but yeah this was eighth grade um we was cool i was cool with pretty much everybody but like i said we was clicks we had clicks everybody wanted to you know be in a little click because we had gotten a little click or whatever we had our own little thing going or whatever but the main person who i think the main person who was like over it over it was me but um we had i had a friend i ain't gonna speak on name whatever because she irrelevant as fuck but um i had a friend who was like she was like wishy was she like friendly 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 as fuck and she used to come like be with us or whatever sometimes and then the other little people who we was like quote unquote beefing with uh our little click then like their little click or whatever the case maybe little little girl shit little petty shit um they i forgot what they was called but i think they was called great value <laughs> y'all this is so lame but they was called great value and i would look click didn't get along with they look click or whatever so she used to be like in between both of them or whatever and something had happened i don't even know but this girl name i ain't even gonna speak her name but her name started d but she had came to the school and everybody just was like oh, oh over like all over her like they just thought she was the shit i mean she cool now or whatever we still speak to this day or whatever but at the time they used to be like oh she this she this oh yeah she got them dolls she did all of this so i think that she was in the other little clique or whatever and y'all i'm telling y'all true y'all i'm telling y'all true story this sounds so damn fake but it's so damn real i don't i don't want to put the names in it because it's irrelevant now but it's just funny to me but <laughs> but so what happened was um yeah the girl who was like going back and forth or whatever she had got into one of the girls from Nila click or whatever and i know all i know is we was on the bus and she was all in our face one time and then the next day she was all in their face or whatever the case may be so we on the bus about to go home and she was like i bet you ain't gonna call d a bitch and at that time bitch i didn't really curse like that like that i mean i cursed but like i i didn't at that time or whatever and nobody didn't really know i was like cursing like that so like when she said that that was a big thing for me 
So she was like, I bet you ain't gonna call D a bitch. And so, you know, me being me, I ain't no pussy. Me being me, you know, the sass had to come out. So I said, I yelled out the window, being dumb, bad as hell. I yelled out the window and I said, Dark, mm, it's about to say a name. I, I yelled at the name and I said, D a bitch. She said, what? Who called me a bitch? She just kept yelling out the window. I was on the bus. She just kept yelling from outside. She was standing on the other side. Well, she said, who, who called me a bitch? Who called me a bitch? Who called me a bitch? And nobody wanted to say nothing. And I ain't no pussy. I ain't no, you know, I ain't no bitch either. So I said, I called you a bitch. Bad as fuck. Bad as fuck. And she get out the call. Not get out the call. She come. Well, she wasn't really supposed to get on our bus. And the bus driver was supposed to not let her on the bus. But he wasn't on the bus at the time. He was still in the school. And because, you know, like when the bus is lined up outside the school or whatever, they go in the school sometimes, use the bathroom, get some water, talk to the little other bus drivers and shit like that. So she get on the bus. And so... I'm sitting on the I'm sitting on the little, the little seat like this. And y'all, her voice was so irritating. And it, I think it still is. But the little girl, her voice was so damn annoying. And it was squeaky as fuck. And she got on the bus bucking, doing all of this. Doing all of this. And she don't want to call me no bitch. You the bitch. You the bitch. Just going hard, going hard. And I think she pushed me no y'all know what happened she stood on the seat now i never fought on no bus before but i know like if if somebody stand on a the seat they're trying to get the best of you so and then mind y'all i was already short i'm short she was already taller than me so um she she um she stand on top of the seat so i stand on top of the seat and then right before i was trying to stand on top of the seat she hit me and all i know is i was standing i was i was punching her ass i was I was setting her ass up and she what she grabbed my hair. Yeah, I think she grabbed my hair. And now I was trying to I was trying to demolish her ass. I was trying to drag I could not because it was so many people on a bus. It was so many cr people crowding us. I don't even know. I, all I know is I she grabbed my hair. I was trying to drag us. I I had a I had a like I had her hair hell because she grabbed my hair first and so i had her hair wrapped around my hand and i was trying to drag her ass i was trying to drag her off the the, the bus exit the fucking door was open i was trying to drag her ass out that bitch i was gonna fuck over her i was gonna fuck clean over her and i know I, my science teacher my science teacher mr Com mr como he um got on the bus and he broke it up him and i think the bus driver got on there i think i don't even remember all i know is I was so damn mad that fucking exit door was open and I was trying to jump the hell out, out of there and go get her ass because they had, when they pulled her, they pulled her off the front of the bus and then they was trying to calm me down, Mr. C, the science teacher. So all I remember was he said, this Mr. C, this Mr. C, calm down, calm down. And I was just so burnt up. Like I had, all I saw was red, yo. All I saw was red. But, um... They had this lady who, well, that's my tea. It's still my tea to this day. But um, they had um, how did I I meet her? She be she was she was uh she was a substitute at our teacher for like um for a while. I think I was like thirteen or fourteen. She be she was our substitute teacher, and I started begin. I you know I'm a teacher's pet, y'all. I'm a teacher's pet, and I started getting cool with her, whatever. She started giving me lotion. She started buying me something to eat off campus, like everything, like everything, not campus, school, off school, like premises. She used to bring me home from time to time, like when I stayed after school on a dance team, she used to bring me home, everything. I used to get special tri special privileges, and I call, I used to call her my auntie, uh, I, I called her TD, but that's still my TD to this day, to this day, I love her, be like this, but, um, she was i think i didn't stay after school i didn't they I, I think this this had to have been a friday this had to have been a friday because we used to have voa which is like an after school program voa um i think probably was monday through thursday it had to be like a friday 
and um they was like um uh, they called her name they they, they called her name because she was in her office and they called her name they was like um your niece just had a fight your niece just had a fight and so she came running out there or whatever and she tried to call me down. I know I'm sitting on the steps. I said, I'ma fuck this bitch up. I was so mad. And it was like, watch him, watch him out. She was like, watch him out. She was like, remember who you talking to? And um, y'all, I just was so damn mad. I was so mad. But that's my little piece of fight that I had. And after that, I think we we I think after that, I don't know if we was cool in school or whatever. Cause I don't know that happened way when I was in eighth grade. I don't know like what happened after a while, but I know I um I didn't follow her on no social media after that. And but now we cool. Like she got her little clothing line. I got my business going or whatever. So I be like my pictures. She like my pictures or whatever. And and yeah, that's just that. But um I just wanted to share. It was a, a it, and moral of the story is. Don't ever let your friends buck you up to fight nobody if they not willing to fight nobody. It be the scary ones that be bout mouth but don't throw no motherfucking licks that'll buck your head up and be the one sitting back watching, like, like just watching while you sitting up there fighting and you done got suspended. Because I think I got suspended for like two days, two or three days. I don't even remember. But like, it be the ones like will set you up for that kill. Like you would think like. Oh, because my friend talk big shit. She helped me out. Uh, because my friend talk big shit. She would have been the one to call the girl a bitch. Not me. But, oh, she bucking me up saying, Oh, yeah, Sasha, I bet you won't. Because she know I'm going to do it. And then she know I got the hands to back it up. I'm not, I'm not a bitch. I'm not pussy. I'm not pussy. But that is just, you know, that's just moral of the story. Like, don't let your friends buck you up. And you sitting there uh, looking like the dummy. Doing what she wants you to do. And your ass just asked out at the end because look at you you done got in a fight it's on your fucking record and then now you're suspended now but look at look at the girl who done bucked me up to say bitch she's still in school probably laughing at me probably geeked like all all kinds of shit all kinds of shit and um i had to cut her off that's why she cut off now i had to i think probably right after that fight right after that fight i think we used to talk we talked maybe like all the way up until like maybe close to a year after but those type of people they seek attention they i, I did a video on this they seek attention so much and it's, it's ridiculous and it be the messy the messy messy ones to get you in a world of trouble that's why i had to cut off because it's like every time you turn around she was trying to fight somebody but wouldn't fight she every time you turn around she'll be trying to fight somebody but wouldn't fight she just be bow mouth about my always talk 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 but never won't throw the man's and it's just crazy to me i never seen a fight i did still fight before <laughs> i ain't gonna even speak on that speak on what i saw but i know i called her hands out before plenty of times because she pissed me off and it came it there used to be my close best friend but after somebody do some snake ass shit drop 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 i'm telling y'all telling y'all like i ain't fake and i'm not about to sit in your face and be fucking fake so that's why i had to cut her off but that's for a whole nother topic a whole nother topic people do you so wrong people do you so wrong but yeah i just wanted to share this little video with y'all so i can upload this video for y'all um for the new subscribers that have subscribed for the new people that have subscribed i love y'all thank you for subscribing also make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to to subscribe as well make sure you tell your mama your daddy your uncle your brother your cousin anybody to subscribe to life of sassy and come join the plus gang 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 and until then we out